Hi, I'm back at the Corsair Suite with Jared. Now this man knows more about SSDs than most people. You've got two new ones and you've been telling me about them, the Neutron and Neutron GTX. Do tell more. Absolutely. So Neutron and Neutron GTX are our new high-end uh, high end of our SSD line. Um, take advantage of a new, completely new controller that I guess most of you probably haven't uh, heard of before. But uh, it's a really strong performer to address kind of that enthusiast and IT professionals and really give consistent high performance across the board. So really all of the things that you're, uh, all four corners, if you will, of what the, what the SSD is typically supposed to do, it does well. So at the moment, you've got Sandforce drives. They're pretty quick. And actually, with the way the prices are dropping, they're pretty cheap. How would a controller from this company, and you better name the company because you haven't spoken about them yet, where does that fit in? You say it's enthusiast, but is there a space for it given just how cheap SSDs are becoming? Absolutely. So I think the SSD space is getting bigger and bigger on that, that, uh, that front. So you know, as they become more affordable, more people come into the market. Nice, uh, nice mention on the controller manufacturer, of course, <laughs> not trying to uh, keep that from you guys, but no, we were working with uh, Linka Media on these. Linka Media is a company that's actually been in the space for a number of years. They're founded in 2004, uh, but really when you look at the talent and the people that have been in the industry, they've been doing storage for 20 or 30 years. So these are guys who know what they're doing and have actually been working in the enterprise space, working in hybrid drives, working in mobile uh, hard drives. So they've got a lot of expertise in how you make, uh, how you make a drive really work and how you make a drive really solid for kind of IT use for, you know, really the reliability that a, a lot of people are looking for in a, in a high performance SSD. Okay, so high performance, give me some stats. You'd like to roll off IOPS and reads and writes, so give them to me. Absolutely. We always love to talk about the IOPS and uh, for the Neutron and Neutron GTX, uh, you know, I get a special uh, little uh, place in my heart when I get to talk about these because they're a little bit different than, than a lot of the drives that are out there. The typical uh, kind of third generation SSDs that we've dealt with, uh, you're making some compromises, right? So you're either really good read IOPS, really good write IOPS, great at sequential. Uh, Neutron's about fixing that. How do you make it a uh, no-brainer? You want the best performance, you just pick one of the Neutron and Neutron GTX drives. So to start off with on the numbers, um, you know, of course we're going to turn in uh, 85K for uh, IOPS performance. That's just a, a given that everyone kind of wants to be in that space for your write IOPS. But what we do a little bit different on Neutrons is uh, Neutron GTX is uh, we're actually at 90K for the Neutrons on the read IOPS as well. And, and read's not something that most guys mention because it isn't as strong as a write performance on, say, the older generation top end drives. Right, absolutely. And it's just, this is, uh, when you talk about 90K, most of the uh, other drives that are out there in the space are kind of in the 45K range. Mm -hmm. So we really are doubling the read performance. And hypothetically, I think a few of your users actually read things off of uh, SSDs? Yes. Okay. Okay, and you've got Neutron and GTX. What's yeah. the difference? So what we do is uh, Neutron is a very good solution from that standpoint. It gives you you know really high performance on this. GTX takes it to the next level. So our GTX line takes advantage of Toggle NAND, uh, which most people in the industry are aware gives you a lot of benefits, particularly in the, the random performance. So uh, Neutron GTX actually gives you 90K reads and writes for IOPS, which is just an incredible number and, and definitely uh, something that we think is going to really drive and, and give the enthusiasts something to brag about. Right. Looking at the pictures, it's pretty obvious it's a SATA 3 base drive. Now, with the the bottleneck, the bandwidth of say 580 megabytes per second, yeah. surely this kind of controller is screaming out for PCI Express. And if I was building a new PC, maybe a really high end one, I'd want to put a PCI controller in there. Oh, I think I think PCI controllers definitely have a place in some systems, but uh, again, that's part of what we're showing here is this is using uh, one of the Ivy Bridge motherboards basically, RAID built in throw two drives at it, you already have the equivalent of a PCIe drive here. Um, really simple, takes advantage of obviously the kind of fast platform you want as an enthusiast anyway to get. Uh, I mean here we're talking about north of uh, 100,000 uh, 100, K or 100,000 megabits per second on uh, sequential reads. So Huge numbers. And to finish off, give me some more numbers. What capacities, how much, which is always difficult to answer, I know, and how soon? Right, so capacities are easy. Uh, we're going to be launching the Neutron with a 120 and a 240. Uh, GTX, we're going to be launching 120, 240, and actually going to 480 as well. Uh, 
Pricing pricing's going to be pretty similar on a Neutron to what we're doing with Force GT right now. So if you look out around what's in the market, that's what we would expect. GTX will be a little bit of a premium over that, uh, obviously, because it's the, the ultra high end. It's it's the thing that you uh, you want to show off. Right, Jared, thanks very much. So that's the Neutron and Neutron GTX, super fast drives, and according to Jared, they've got no problems whatsoever. We'll soon put that to the test.